welcome to another show of Selfly Guided. I'm your host, Carmel Ann. For those um, tuning in live, uh, you're welcome, or anyone listening to a replay, if you'd like to check out my website, selflyguided.com.au, and you'll be able to find it, anything about me um, and my readings on that website. But today is not about me. We have a wonderful guest on our show. We're doing an interview to Ariana Starr. Now, Ariana is a tarot reader, a writer, a YouTube on Tarot with Ariana Stark is her channel, and she's a numerologist, a love oracle debt creator, and she's also an admin on a few pages, including my Soulfully Guided Facebook page. So without further ado, Ariana, it's so great to have you here. How are you today? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for this network, for giving me this opportunity to talk about uh, love oracle and certain things which I do. Yes, I'm a numerologist, a tarot deck is something which has been a part of my uh, uh, growing up here. So, so let's just uh, dive into this and see how it goes. Excellent. So if you'd I've like been, to tell us. Uh, yeah? yeah, sorry. I've been reading tarot since very many years now. My history started while I was at a bookstore. So my friends were uh, were there with me, but I was actually eyeing a tarot deck, the mythic tarot. This is the deck right here. See, how is it? Wow. <laughs> All worn <Yep>. out. <laughs> All worn out. Sure. So my energies are with this deck. I've been reading tarot and researching on the subject. Similarly, like I'm not somebody who follows the book, so theoretical knowledge is not something which I go by or swear by. Rather, I'm just somebody who is going to just read as the reading goes, or I'm going to pick up certain sensations with the current is so asking. I'm just going to say it like it is. I'm not somebody who is going to beat around the bush. I'm just going to be very straightforward with my readings because I think at the end of the day, the person who is coming to us needs to be soulfully guided. Right, Carmen? That's absolutely right. Yes. <laughs> so... I found a similar thing where I in, ended up in a bookshop and, and bought my reading too, uh, bought, bought my first deck. I didn't open it for about six months. So I really can value that. And the energy and oh, just that initial relationship that goes into your first deck. And um, speaking about decks, you've got your incredible deck that you've created, and a love oracle deck. Would you love yes. to tell us a little bit about that, where we can find it, where we can buy it? And, and your own spin on your wonderful Oracle deck. Sure. This is Love Oracle. If you can't see clearly, it's a purple color background. This is something which I, it was never on my mind, so to speak. Meaning tarot deck is something which is going to be in the offing anytime soon. Maybe some couple of years down the line, but Love Oracle happened very organically. It happened very intuitively. I was just called upon to make this deck, it happened within a matter of a week or so, but then uh, printing was an ordeal for me, so to speak. I mean, you just need to go down to the printers. You're just going to be hassled on account of the work they do because you do want a perfect product. I have certain cards. I mean, it covers all aspects of a relationship from twin flame to soulmate to third party. I try to cover all of it in one deck because as a tarot reader, you do want messages which are very direct. You don't want any fluff. You want everything to be straight to the point. And when you look at the cards, if you're intuitively guided, you will pick up the same messages which need to be conveyed at a particular time to the querent. So certain cards are there like kiss and makeup. This means that you need to bury the hatchet or you need to uh, resolve issues which are going to crop up in your relationship. You know, this is also something very cheeky as Australians will say, because uh, it's got the lipstick right here. So certainly, I mean, I try to incorporate all messages within the cards, within the deck. We have circles going round in circles, if you can see clearly. It's like the karmic cycle, maybe all repeating the same things over and over again. And this is having a bearing on your relationship. So you don't want those issues to be discussed. Maybe it's a karmic relationship, like I said, so maybe you need to understand why the two of you have been brought together. Other cards, which are, this is one of my favorite cards, farewell, but I'm not good at goodbyes. Possibly, you know, if you see the imagery, then you will see balloons. 
you know, when we have some balloons with us, we need to release them in the sky. Likewise, I think at the soul level, one of you or the person in question may not want to release the balloons. Maybe there's a tussle at the soul level to hold on to this relationship. Even if you're saying goodbye, even if there's a distance in a relationship, I think this is not what the heart wants. Likewise, I think there are cards like hesitancy, commitment, phobia. So the ring should fit Carmel, isn't it? I mean, you want commit commitment from the person, it should be a bit 100 person. It shouldn't be anything less than that. And this is something which needs to be worked upon in a relationship. The ring shouldn't slip out of the finger, so to speak. Oftentimes, you know, querents do come to us and they ask this question, whether this person is going to commit. And if this card shows up in a reading that you need to be certain that certain things need to be worked upon in a relationship before things can be all sorted out or even when you walk down the aisle. I do have another card which talks about forgiveness, heals, revenge doesn't. Now, if you look closely, there's a, a candle which is there. So you need to do some soul work. You need to also understand a relationship is not based on revenge. I mean, that isn't love, is it? It's like you're just getting even with the person. You don't want to get even with the person. So these messages are something which has come from the soul level. So you need to understand that if you let go of someone, you need to also heal and you should allow the person to heal rather than say, okay, I'll get you back or I'm going to be someone who is always going to be there. So at the soul level, healing is very essential for any relationship which doesn't work. I do have this card complicated. Now, if you pick up this card, then definitely there are other players in this relationship. Maybe it's a third party relationship. You don't want a relationship to leave you in knots, does it? You, you want something which is uh, very tangle free. I mean, if you see, it's nature has also come up. So oftentimes, you know, in the entire deck, you will see that nature imagery is something which I have uh, used because nature is something which is very close to my heart. So likewise, I have this card, silent treatment. So if this comes up, you can understand this, this lack of communication. When somebody walks through dry leaves, then only it will make a rustling sound. Or even if the, the wind blows, then you can hear the uh, leaves rustle. That is why I think the sound will only emerge only when you are talking. So this sound shouldn't be there or this distance shouldn't be coming up in a relationship because, you know, commu communication is the bedrock of any relationship. Carmel. For any, yeah. And Sorry, for anyone that's tuning in and can't see the deck, please do watch the replay on Facebook or YouTube and you'll be able to see the cards. Ariana, we've just got about one minute um, left for your interview. Can you please tell us where to find you? So if people want to purchase your deck or have a reading with you, where they can find you? Yes, sir. Uh, if you want to make a purchase, then I have an email address, arianastark9 at gmail.com. Or you can also send me a friend request on Facebook, Ariana Stark, that's my page. So our Instagram handle is also there, at Ariana Stark 9. My team member is there. Payment is via PayPal. So if there's a, anything which you want to understand about the deck, then you can definitely go through the email address. Or even the YouTube channel is there linked. So Tara with Ariana Stark has a full flip through reading for how to read the deck and how to go about it. Precisely, um, as a matter of fact, I think this deck is basically very intuitive. Just when you go through the messages, you will understand intuitively what is it that you need to say. Even if somebody who doesn't have much uh, thing to about tarot, Thanks. they can go through it. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. And um, I love about your deck that it covers all aspects of a relationship the positive and the challenging. So if anyone's interested, please do reach out to Ariana. Thank you for being on the show. It's been a pleasure. And to everyone else tuning in, thank you for another week of Soulfully Guided. Um, always a pleasure to be able to connect with everyone and have listeners tune in. It means the world to me. Next week, I'll be going back into doing a reading. So tune in and I'll talk about something exciting. So thank you very much. Thank you again, Ariana. Thank you to all our listeners.